and the driver sat in front of that cab. Well, the old lady gave the a lesson to wrap up herself from wind and dust and the journey began. Well, the journey was long and tiresome. The road was rough, tough and dusty. As time went by and eventually the sun came up, it became unbearable for a to see the metallic part of that vehicle. At five o'clock, they were still on the road. The two men sitting in front did not mind to look at the back and see how the Sian was bearing, but she did not care. She did not mind because she was going to meet her role model, Emma Kederei. Well, it was a little bit dark when the driver came out of that pickup and told the Sian, Hush, yo woman, get out if you would wish to stretch your legs. The Sian wondered, why did Olarinko have to change on me this much? But she got out of that pickup, entered into a bush, but later she came back screaming, I've seen a snake, I've seen a snake. The two men rebuked her for screaming. She got back into the pickup and the journey continued. It was very, very dark when the driver came out of that pickup. Larinkoi pulled out a big carton, a bag of sugar, and another bag of flour. Then he yelled at the Sian hush. Yo, woman, get out. The driver does not have the whole night here. The Sian one, what are we doing here? Are we going to spend the night here before meeting a Makirele? What 